Let's, oh, not, right. let's not bring that up. <laughs> that was hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was. That was next level, man. Was that was next best. level. Hey, I tip my hat to that girl. This, uh, Hello, that everyone. Oh, I got a super chat already from Cumberbatch Pepper Pot for $1.99. He says, I bid $40 for Cecil's sister to scold me on the phone. Mm. She'd do it for free. <laughs> mm. Save your money. Hello, everyone. Uh, about goddamn time. <laughs> Everybody yelling at me. Uh, I'm not going to read any cancer baby comments. <laughs> They're already pouring in. Oh my gosh, that was it. I don't think Ethan understood what was he was no, like. No, no, because he didn't see. <laughs> but it was he's like, like they're yelling, he's like they're yelling at Anna. <laughs> I, I I woke up, and my Twitter was just filled with it. I was like, oh fuck, she really did that. Just like yeah. I hated that baby for. That people had the quote. The quote they kept saying was, "I hated that baby before it had cancer." <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> hey, there's a T-shirt, man. I want <laughs> somebody's gonna make that T-shirt and just. Oh my god! <laughs> Anna was raw. I was like, uh, <laughs> DJ Fox. She's fucking legendary. Yeah, I mean, I've been mean, but I've never been that mean ever. Yeah, that was like. Beyond Sarah Silverman level. That's funny. <laughs> it was bloody fantastic. It was insane. Uh, I, I don't know. Do I snore? I guess I do. Well, you did I was, last night. You I did fell, last night, baby. I fell asleep in my chair, so it must have been like... Yeah, I could see that. I, know, I don't think I normally... Uh, Blockhead says that cancer baby girl. She's <laughs> Jabba the cock says even Albert Fish likes cancer, baby. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that was uh that was great. That was great and horrible at the same time. <laughs> Okay. Uh, All right. Am I a hipster with that hat doors? No, man. I keep my house chill. What's that? I keep my house cold. Like what? Like 50? Well, I don't know. Whatever. 70? 70? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I think anything below 70 is cool. Right? Like seventy is like, it's kind of it's kind of hot. Hot? Except, no, dude, you got you're dealing with humidity or something. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Logan Michael Anti Funko Pops for two ninety nine says, "I'd rather cut off my pee pee than watch Cult of Chucky." I like Cult of Chucky. Mm, I just watched the Chucky not too long ago, where the guy was the kid was grown up. Was he in a no? He was in like a nut home, and then Chucky was like killing all the all the mental cases. Yeah, the girl in that movie, uh, the girl that's in the wheelchair, mm -hmm. is the uh, is actually the real life daughter of the voice of Chucky. Oh, uh, dude from Dune, yeah. He's from yeah. Dune. He's from Dune. That's uh, what's his name, uh, Brad Dourif. Yeah, Brad, Brad Dourif. I had dinner with him. Yeah, he was one of the men talk. Human computer. Oh, really? I don't name? remember him in Dune, but he's been, he was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and, yeah, and the, uh, Lord, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of stuff. He was in that yeah. crappy Aliens movie. Yeah, yeah he, he drank he, that stuff, and then he's like, whatever the something of Safu, I, and then he goes through that that little speech of whatever he does to get into that headspace. I gotta watch that movie again. Oh yeah, he was in Blue Velvet. Velvet. He's Jeez. a he's a true character actor. He's in so much stuff. He was a gas station attendant in in Urban Legends as Super Divorce. He was the doctor in Deadwood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he always plays creeps. 
Yeah. So, <laughs> well, he but, was a good. But Chucky guy. was his greatest role. Yeah, no, the doctor was a pretty good guy. Yeah, a decent good guy in that movie. Yeah, Exorcist Three, he was great. Exorcist Three is such an underrated movie. That's Only the one because with the, uh, the apartments, right, or the big building. No, the, oh, that's no. the one with the. Um, I got a Poltergeist Three. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Exorcist Three has uh, what's his name uh, from Patton? What the hell's that actor's name? Right, right. George, C., George C. Scott. George yeah. Scott, you hated Exorcist Three. Anna, come in here. What are you doing? I sent you the link. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he plays this like uh, crazy. Is he a serial killer or something? Yeah, he's a serial killer. It's great. He's like locked in this room. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, yeah that, was was that? A, that was a great. That was a great movie. I I, I was unexpectedly uh, good just because Exorcist Two is such a piece of shit of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is by Will Alone, I Set My Mind in Motion, it is by the juice of Safu that thoughts acquire speed, the lips acquire stain, stains become a warning, and it is by Will Alone, I Set My Mind in Motion. Hold on, is Anna in the thing now? Okay. That doesn't even ring a bell, Cecil, on Dune? I, I saw that many years ago, but I did read the books. Hmm. The men tapped. Yeah, he was that computer working for uh, Harkonnen. Anna is he, he was the one who came up with the plan, and then Harkonnen said, You mean my plan? And he's yeah. like, Your plan or our oh, plan. Yeah. Okay, I have a couple of super chats. Uh, Logan Michael Anti Funko Pop says, I think she's thinking of two. And Hugo says, Joaquin, Feech, uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker is called Arthur Fleck, a low key reference to Ben Affleck, A Fleck. Uh, wow. Why would they do that? I don't know. Same initials as Albert Fish. Oh. <laughs> For all you fishaholics out there. <laughs> Cecil says is your one your one stop place to shop for Albert Fish talk. <laughs> I wonder if you like that band, Fish. Yeah, they were named it after Albert Fish. A lot of people don't know that. That's why they travel the country playing blues and killing babies. Eating them. Uh, yeah. They even have an ice cream, which is yeah, probably and, a reference to And in Jerry's. Yeah, this is where Fisher Maniacs come to meet every night. Oh, you're on the air. What's your favorite fish story? <laughs> oh, I um, really love the one where he ate that child. Oh. I like that we kept that one up, but we took down the one where Anna told her story. Because <laughs> <laughs> somehow it was more disturbing. Yeah, she, uh, actually, knew, she actually knew that one, right? Like eagerly one. awaiting Red Rooster versus Albert Fish. <laughs> I like, I like, I, Mitch thought on the fly he his Albert Fish stand, stand in would be called Kelsey Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I liked when he said that. It's, oh, I don't even remember that. <laughs> Was I here? I, I, I said, Can he fight an Albert Fish character? And he said, Yeah, I'll call him Kelsey Salmon. <laughs> Because Albert Fish was executed in 1936. I would love to tell that story, uh, but do it just the very end of his story. And you do it like uh, Fargo, where you have the criminal and then you have the cop. And, you know, there, because there was a, a, a cop that, that caught him, that like got on the tr got on his trail. And uh, it, right after, right on his last victim. And it just seems like a perfectly, you know, horrible, uh, great little story. I don't know how you would do the the uh, cooking and eating of a child part in a movie. That would be tough. But whoever can crack that, I think it'll be a sweet movie. No, My favorite part about Albert Fish is that, <laughs> that everybody in the jury agreed 100%. They're like, this dude is batshit crazy. But he was so freaking evil, they still said, fry the fucker. <laughs> yeah, there was no reason. That's how evil the dude was, man. 
Did you ever watch the movie? Um, Clint Eastwood directed it. It was with uh, Angelina Jolie. I th what, it was called like The Double or something. Like, oh, my God. The Imposter or something. I can't oh, think. Yeah, that's one, isn't it? The Imposter? Is it called The Imposter? But it was a woman whose kid got got um, the changeling. Thank you, Super Divorce. Changeling. A, a woman's kid got, got uh, kidnapped by a serial killer. And then the police just returned a different kid to her. And oh, said, we found your son. And uh, it's a true story. And, it, and the, the actual story of that fucking guy was insane. That's why people are like, oh, we're all crazy now in 2019. It's like, no, this kid had an entire, like, I'm not kid. The serial killer had an, a barn uh, surrounded by chicken wire, and he had, like, 20 kids in there. Whoa. And then he would pull out a kid one at a time and make one of the other kids chop him up with an axe. Whoa. And that's in that movie. Yeah. It's crazy. And, uh, uh, you know, she, to the end of her life was like, Oh, maybe my son was one of the, because one night a bunch of them escaped out of the chicken wire. Uh, but, uh, they caught the guy and he kept saying like, he was even right up to the point where he was executed. He was lying and telling her your son escaped. And uh, Diesel, just, can you uh, lower your camera? Lower my camera. <laughs> you're, you're right behind. Hold Spirit, on. Spirit scars face. <laughs> there we go. Better. Yeah. We can at least see your eyes now. <laughs> All right. So what awful shit were you talking about? It's horrible. Yeah, the movie was so de – yeah, uh, Blockheads is right. The movie was really – it like that movie stuck with me. It's really fucking a nightmare. But, yeah, people in the 30s were really fucked up too. I mean, this guy had a farm full of kids where he was just making other kids chop them up, and they were kept in a cage, and the other kids in the cage would watch what would happen. So, uh, yeah, and it gave us also Albert Fish. Rhino4563 for $2 says, Unreal. Malin can make anything about Albert Fish. <laughs> it's a gift and a curse. Hmm. Some might say I'm the Albert Fish of analogies. <laughs> um, <laughs> Adino Palacio says, Cecil has the eyes of a serial killer. No, I don't. There's only kindness in my eyes. You're thinking of Anna. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. So, uh, next subject. So, how are you? Uh, how did you guys feel about tonight's auction? Loved did it. Well, went well. I think it went well for everyone, more importantly. So, I mean, a lot of good bids out there. A lot of three, four hundred, you know, dollar pieces were sold. Um, yeah, yeah, good. You know, usually good promotion for people having campaigns out there. You know, I encourage everyone to, uh, you know, if you get the chance to participate. Uh, Ethan is trying to open that up. So, I mean, that's a really good shot for you guys, especially if you're an artist trying to get some bills paid. There are a couple bargains, which is the fun part of auctions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I that's saw why people tune in, because every once in a while you can grab something. I think that uh, James Dean Anderson grabbed that uh, – David Finch and, and RT Bear piece for 210. And I'm like, whew, that I mean, that was a gra the grab of the night. Yeah, I mean, on one end of the one end of the spectrum, you got a David Finch and Art to Bear piece <clears throat> selling, you know, doing well. On the other end of the spectrum, Kelsey sold a singular sock for 25 bucks. 25 bucks? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so good times, man. I sold a piece one, one night. I only did one drawing. It was uh, Kermit the Cyber Frog. Mm. I got two. Oh yeah, that was great too. I got two fifty for it. Wow, that's rare because I can't draw and I have no skill whatsoever. Yeah, but it looked good. How much did that Zach piece go for? Zach's went for a few hundred, I think. Yeah, three, maybe something. three. About three hundred. Mm -hmm. 
It's pretty that good. Was a, a sketchbook with one page with an original. Blockheads, uh, Blockheads has a message for you, Kelsey. Send uh, me my Wolverine drawing. You got it. It's coming. Uh, this, he is, added by now. Way, this is like two weeks now he's been sending this. Yeah, how me. come we've heard about this so much now, Kelsey? Uh, it's been longer than that. Yeah, I got, I got it. Is it done? I got a few things I got to send. Uh, but is it done? Is it a finished piece? Yeah. Blockheads, by the way, makes blockhead like Funko dolls. This is one he made of me. Oh, for Beautiful. Wow. What'd you do? Print that out? I don't know how he did it, but it's great. You could print it out and uh and but he made this one out of plastic. It's hard. Mm. Oh, wow. but you can, he you can you can print it out from his website in paper and, and build your own. But he sent me one. I broke the head off of it. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, it's, I want no, to it's, it's back on. No, actually, it's it's good. <laughs> I thought it was broken, but it's not. I want but, I want plastic ones of the whole Jack crew, man. He did. He listen. He did the. Uh, and he even put it. He even gave me a little box. Yeah, it's bull crap. <laughs> I don't need a box, <clears throat> but I would like to see all four of us getting one of those. And I don't even need the, the, the piece. Just he can build them, take a picture, and then send it to us. We get an Anna one, a Kelsey one. So why is this guy who's a big fan of mine begging for the art that he already paid for, Kelsey? Because uh, I'm a schlub. Yeah, but you don't want to get a bad rep. No, no, no. I'll send it out. I got I to gotta send a few things. Like uh, I got all these signed copies of uh, uh, Love turns to bitterness. Bitterness turns to anger. Anger turns to hate. What's you that? are the Albert Fish of mailing out artwork. Yeah. Pretty bad. <laughs> Job Jabba the Cuck says Anna is too ashamed to come on. Uh, um, uh, maybe, is, have, is she in the green room? No, she's not. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, block. <laughs> Please don't. Please do. Please don't. Uh -oh. turns to love. <clears throat> Make it look like a garbage pail, baby. <laughs> Who knew Anna would be the most evil one of all of us? I suspected. <laughs> did you? Yeah. I'm like, she's got a dark side. I did not. We're going to find it. I did not ex expect that. Yeah, I found it. Headrock knew. I, I'm not sure that's Dr. the... Dr. Johnny Asshole. A lot of people knew. DJ Fox said he knew. I'm not sure that's the depths of it either. I think uh, we might have to mine this. See how deep this well goes. I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> this is true. KSSS says what Anna said about the baby is almost as disturbing and evil as putting raisins in brownies. <laughs> I agree. I think she got a pass on that. Raisins. That's truly that's Albert Fish level baking. Who would do that? Oh my gosh! In fact, I'd rather have a meal made by Albert Fish <laughs> <laughs> than Anna. Than Anna's raisin brownies. Here, how do you oh. ruin brownies? Pour a bag of raisins in it. She puts raisins in brownies. Yes. Yeah, like your great grandma. You know what? Do. You're right. The signs were there. No, my great grandmother would never do that. She's human. No, oatmeal yeah. cookies. You could put raisins. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Bosey says, yeah, raisin brownies was the red flag. We should have seen the warning signs. <laughs> what, what kid on Halloween, when they get the raisins thrown in their bag, goes, yay. <laughs> <laughs> every, every other kid eggs that house. <laughs> One with a bullet in her shoulder. <laughs> 
she loves it. I'd rather have fish brownies, says Walking Dude. True. <laughs> fish brownies. So what's the plan? Tomorrow's a day off. Why well, you guys don't care about days off? You're when every day is a day actually. off for us. I, well, a day off to work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you guys, that I'm still working. Yeah, I got to wrap up this Monster MD trading card that I started. Then my what? plate is clear. Did you finish all the Ethan Van Skyver Cyber mm -hmm. Frog cards? Yeah, I, I think you said on the auction tonight he got them. Yeah, he got them all. Bang them out. All right. okay, cool. oh, I, I took forever on them, man. I, I drew the crap out of them, and then I all I did was color in the eyes. So if anybody else just colors in the eyes, they're copying me. Reject. <laughs> Donut Swan for $5 says, I don't know what that baby did to Anna, but it must have been pretty bad. <laughs> oh, I feel like she took her vengeance for those popular kids out on that baby. Donuts one for two dollars says the red flag was that she said she could dunk. Yeah, to me that'll get her in here. By the way, yeah, she can't fucking dunk. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, she has gorilla arms. I, I'm I'm not ruling it out. I am. There's no fucking way. She's the same height as Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Bro, uh, did you see his car tonight? How bad that wreck was? No. Kevin Hart, got a, Kevin Hart got into a car wreck tonight. Where Not was good. Zoe Quinn at? <laughs> he, he drove off like a cliff and uh, supposedly has very serious back injuries. I hope he's not paralyzed. Mm. Drove off a cliff? Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the exact term in the article was veered off a cliff. Ah, hmm. See, uh, so uh, yeah, he went off a cliff, and the car looks. I mean, it was, yeah, I don't know if it was Mulholland Drive, says uh, Spirits Car, but it might have been, you know, the Hollywood Hills. This, uh, oh, he wasn't driving, he was a passenger, but that car was just, I mean, has he got certainly, a few uh, pictures of it? It's, it's hard to believe someone's alive in there. Has he suddenly changed his tune on homosexuals? No, he he um fuck Is California. Like he um, but he apparently has severe back injuries. I hope that does not mean paralyzed. Oh, uh, <laughs> Kevin says, Hart <laughs> left two people in car wreck, and it, one, another article said. Uh, Kevin Hart car wreck involved wife's hot personal trainer. Did they actually say that? White's hot Yeah, person. that's the name of this headline from The Blast. That his wife's hot personal trainer was also in there. I like how they call her hot hot personal trainer. No, him. Yeah, him. Oh. Oh, maybe it's a chick. Maybe it's a chick. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, she was threatening to tell his wife. Andrew Herta is uh, channeling his uh, Mike Tyson. Oh, it is a chick. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, the plot thickens. Busted. 31-year-old Rebecca Brocksterman. Any pictures? John, can we lock on your screen? Yeah, sure. Let's see what's going on, what Kevin Hart's up to. Give me just one sec to pull this up. I like Kevin Hart. I hope he's okay. You have to lock on a shared screen. I didn't lock on yours? No, the shared screen. Oh, no, okay. it's there. All well, right, all right. He, he looks great. He, Is that who was, it, who, who was driving? That's Rebecca Broxterman. Oh. His wife's hot personal trainer. And how is she? Is she okay? Uh, let's hope so. Pull up if you can find images of the car to see yeah, how she looks, she looks okay to me. Uh, I'll let this video play here. Oh, and Dino, how dare 1970 you? Barracuda went off Mulholland Highway. Oh, was Mulholland? Wow, rolled down yeah, an embankment at 45 a.m. 
Jared Black, 28-year-old. Why is he hanging out with so many young people? Because none of your business. That's why. <laughs> Mahalan's where, where a lot of people went off the cliff, right? Mahalan Drive? No. See if you can find uh, a picture so of the went car. from Canyon Ro Road onto the highway. So it probably rolled onto a highway. Alcohol was not a suspected, but I, I suspect grab ass. So mm. it rolled onto the highway. So they were pulled off the road. He was trying to get a little of that. She was, or the vice versa. She was, she was trying to get a little of that. And he was like, no, baby, no. And, and then they pulled back onto the highway and then got into a wreck. Is that what happened? Well, she's a personal trainer for sure. Yeah, but he's super rich and famous, so maybe. Well, he's her. also really built, even though he's like four feet tall. He's like in super good shape. I'm just saying, why does it always got to be the man? Oh, Hart was able to free himself from the vehicle and return home to get help. What? Oh, that's well. That's actually good news. People said there's three people in the car. Yeah, well, I, he, I think he was the third, and then that chick, and then the driver. Maybe he got chucked from the car. Take a, See if you can find pictures of the car. I saw them online before. Oh, it says the comedian suffered major back injuries. But not, but he was able to walk home, so. Yeah. Well, he was walking home in pain. Brocksterman uh, only suffered minor injuries. Thank God for that. Well, if you went to go get help, that's not the same as leaving for dead. Ted Kennedy left that girl for dead. So she threatened to tell the wife he was going to kill her, but you don't know if any of this is true. Why are you saying this? An accident happened, and then uh, he uh, had to clean up his mess, like right at the end. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like scenarios, uh, like maybe, hmm. maybe they just drove off a cliff because it's a dangerous road. Oh, that's boring. Find the can you find the a picture of the car, John? Yeah, give me one second. Let me uh take care of my dog real quick. Uh Selly Toys uh, uh, Kel, uh KSSS says Kelsey, you have to say allegedly. Oh oh okay. Even if we're just coming up with scenarios. Yeah. Uh Selly Toys blames the Jews. There's always one person I will blame the Jews. <laughs> Comic Spare says, greetings, all. And you heard the driving gang bang and they all crashed. Yeah, that's what Kelsey, yeah. uh, you right. and Kelsey think alike. You know, you, you know, that's plausible. You know, allegedly, allegedly. There we go. <laughs> Monkey Jeebus says, Kevin Hart is gremlin confirmed. <laughs> you mean like post or uh, pre-eating after midnight? Totes Baloney says it was the J team. <laughs> the world isn't fair. The world isn't right. You know what the J team said? It feels like the, the fake team and the boys. You know how that feels? It right. just like, a, oh, that's a fake team they made up. Uh, J, this Doc Justice feels like that. Like, oh, it's just made Doc up. Justice and a J team will bring down the evil. I mean, it's total dog shit, allegedly. Blockheads with a controversial comment says they probably swerved to hit a cancer baby. <laughs> I would have thought that was controversial before I heard Anna say it. Now it's not that controversial. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, it was Zoe Quinn, says Andrew Hort. <laughs> <laughs> was that Anna driving? I don't know. She's not on screen. Oh, here's the car. Yeah. Whoa. No joke. Damn. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Yeah. 
the reason he was able to walk away is because it still was didn't clear his head. Did this wreck happen in the '70s? <laughs> what kind of car is this? Uh, I think it's out of Plymouth Barracuda. Oh, geez, it did happen in the '70s. Oh, that's an old school. That's a hot rod Barracuda. Well, I mean, look at that. I'm surprised anybody lived. They went off. They literally went off a cliff. 1970 yeah. Plymouth Barracuda. Wow. They tried to take him out, but they fucked up. He lived. Yeah, it went it, it went off the cliff at one in the morning. Yes, yeah, so and no one was coming. No one saw them. So he went, climbed up to his house. Mm, he got out and was apparently picked up by an SUV driving employee in his security team. Oh, that's pretty convenient. So now he's gonna he's gonna will himself back into shape and then hunt down all the bastards. Golden oil ha it seems pretty convinced that the Jews Jews mind control for sure on this case. I'm not sure about that golden oil. Speed was a factor. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning. Maybe booze. And, and maybe some titties. Why was he with the trainer at one o'clock in the morning? Do they train people that late? Train them on that dick. Yeah. Instant convertible. I think your 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 love for the man is clouding your vision, Cecil. <laughs> Kevin Hart would not cheat on his wife. I don't know. Let's pull up a picture of his wife. Well, I, I'm glad he. I'm glad he was able to walk, but they say he has severe back injuries. I hope he's not paralyzed or anything like that. You can still have that happen to you even after you walk. Uh, okay, Donut Swan says twenty to one on a hundred that she can't dunk a golf ball on a nine foot rim. It takes six foot semi athletic guy who can palm a ball. About six months of leg exercises to dunk. Yeah, I, I, there's no way she could dunk a basketball. What did she say? She's five one. Yeah, and not probably possible. around that. I, yeah. I don't think she's confirmed her height, but right, right around she that. Has it, but I would is say, this, uh, is this one of those goals that they can? Lower? I don't care if she's. I don't care if she's five six. She's not dunking a fucking basketball. There's no way. Give her a shot. Why can't you just believe in her, Cecil? You know what it is? I saw that video where she was in Jeremy's back seat and her feet were like dangling off the chair like a toddler. <laughs> you know where you could see the, still see the bottom of her shoes? Pull up the video. I've never seen it. And it's, and it's like, that girl is not dunking a basketball. She's very short. Yeah, nice try. Says, I don't care if she's 5'12". See, she always says her video, she always says her webcam is real high and that she's standing on a stool, but maybe it's actual like on the desk and she's having to climb up just on a regular chair. I mean, maybe she's really short. Cam1138 says maybe she's using an alternate meaning of the term dunk. Yeah, WNBA players barely do. No, there's no fucking way. She was on like a Nerf net or something. <laughs> Smash that like button. Uh, Rhino4563 for $5. Thank you. Says Cecil, Kevin Hart cheated on his first wife. Why wouldn't he cheat it on this one? Because he learned his lesson. Yeah. Kevin? Well, there are two people in that car. So who is he cheating on? Yeah. Kevin Hart wouldn't do that. There's a dude and a chick in there. One of them is cover for the other one. What happened? I wonder what was going on in that car. Some monkey business, some kind mm -hmm. of shenanigans. Yeah, don't worry, baby. I'll take your personal trainer. Or grab home. ass. They we'll said alcohol wasn't. I blame grab ass and gravity. Yeah, we'll have Jared drive. Don't worry. There won't be any shenanigans, baby. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
Zeno the Stoic has the uh, hot take of the night. One was a tranny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm doubting that trainer is uh, one, though. Hold my beer. Anyway, I don't. I I like to think that Kevin Hart is not the cheat on my wife as we careen off a cliff type of guy. <laughs> I think it's going to be a great scene for the movie of his life. I like I like him. As soon as He's we like find an out unlikely superstar, Gravity wouldn't do that to him. Hmm, Tom King. Oh, is that Tom King? Oh, you want a link? Yeah. Is that author of Batman, Tom King? Yeah. Love to hear his hot take on Kevin Hart's orgy of death. Ooh. Orgy Kevin, death ride. Orgy of death. Yeah. No, orgy death ride. That sounds badass. Adrian Whoa. Stone introducing the idea that Kevin Hart is actually Gary Coleman. <laughs> that would have been a good move. Yeah, because he, he was being typecast, so he faked his own death and came back as Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Uh, no, I've never heard uh, Kevin Hart scream. <laughs> I like this Frank Reynolds. Yeah, Danny if, uh, he was screaming it, and his two passengers were laughing while they were dying. Oh my! Hilarious! You're killing us, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> you really are the best comedian of the 21st century. Kevin Hart cheated on his first wife with his current wife. That's not his fault. That's her fault. Mm. All, these tri all these trifling women are leading them astray, driving them off cliffs. Kevin's a good man. Kevin Hart as Wolverine. I would I would like that, actually. Um, yeah. He's got the height down. That's about it. It's not even Canadian, Cecil. It's called acting. Yeah. I, uh, he might be Canadian. Uh, I wonder what joke made them lose control of the vehicle. <laughs> I hope early reports say they were watching my live stream last night. It was when Anna was talking about that baby. That <laughs> cancer baby. Kevin Hart's like, pull over. I got to write this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> I was making fun of that ugly baby before it had cancer, for the record. Jeez. Yeah, well, Kevin Hart as the cancer baby. It's <laughs> <laughs> um. Canadian actors for Canadian roles now. Agreed. Yeah, that was... Uh, I hope... Uh, there's a story here. I, I blame... I think uh, gr grab ass is involved. Peter Charon says, I stand with Anna. Mm -hmm. I disavow. Yeah, and, and American... American actors for American roles. No more of these damn dirty Brits coming over here and acting like they're Americans. Yeah. What about, what about Australians? Fuck them too. <laughs> we got an Australian Joker, English Batman, English Superman, Israeli Wonder Woman. Yeah, I a, remember when Americans used to act. There's a problem when all our real men in Hollywood are Australian. It's like where. Where's mm -hmm. the real American men? Yeah. Is there is there any? I mean, there's Gerard Butler, but he's Scottish or he's whatever. Scottish. No, we have real American actors. You got like um, real men, manly. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of really cool. Seth Rogen. Leonardo DiCaprio. 
Johnny Depp. Yeah, there is a drought, isn't there? Brad Pitt. I mean, I, I grew up on movies, you know, uh, Death Wish. Uh, what's his face? Um, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill is going to be in the next <laughs> Death Wish. <laughs> yeah, no, Brad Pitt's a good example. I mean, he is a he's a man at least. I'm not sure he's like the manly man though. You know, I, I'm yeah, going to predict Bronson. You know, types. I mean, there just aren't any of those guys. Yeah. At some point, Brad Pitt is going to play J. Jonah Jameson within the next 20 years. And he's going to own it. Hmm. I think he could do it. Uh, retell the same Spider Man story yet again. Golden Oil for $1.99 says Vanilla Sky Plot confirmed it was the Jews. Whoa. That was in Vanilla Sky. I think so. I think that was the un, uh, the uh, director's cut, though. Cam, well, it was Cameron Crow, right, who directed that? Yeah, yeah, guys, try to try to name a manly man, you know, who's around thirty, not who's eighty. Who's American? Yeah. Cecil. And alive. Now well, that counts you out, Cecil. Smotlock says my ex girlfriend banged Chris Pratt in high school. <laughs> nice. Well, he didn't say that, but that happened. That's an accomplishment, I guess. <laughs> True. Pat Oswalt's American. He could play Wolverine. He's got the height. Pat Oswalt. Brother. He used to be funny. He went a little yeah. crazy. Too, he? he sucks. He actually talked shit about Comics Gate. Yeah. I think it was like a last ditch effort to try to get sales up for uh that book that him and a couple other like celebs were working on. Head Rock says he dated man. Natalie Portman. I don't believe you. I want to believe you. Who? Headrock says he dated Natalie Portman. Oh, send us a picture. Yeah. Bob Dude. Salt says Captain Oswald killed his wife. Well, we don't know that, but we all think it. Yeah. Who the hell who the hell, who the hell gets like married it. ten months after an accidental overdose? Allegedly. Where the fuck is Columbo when you need him? That guy would be like, what? You don't even start dating 10 months after your spouse dies. Forget about fucking already married and moved in. Your Falk is dead. How is there no fucking, no, no fucking bells went off? Like, hey, you know, and also the easiest way to say if someone's dead is accidental fucking overdose. Oh, she, she accidentally took 40 of the pills she normally takes one of a night. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Listen, I don't know shit, but I just I do know that fucking being married ten months after is fucking. Uh, you know, he could have just got a little too mouthy, like uh, Jim Carrey, and then they just like taught him a lesson. And suddenly they were. Yeah, I've heard this from many people. They're like, "That guy killed his wife." I, well, I um, dude, I don't know about that, but like he went on to Jimmy Kimmel, like talking all kind of Illuminati trash. And then, like, then his like girlfriend turns up dead, and then like oh, he disappears, and then his, or then he then he disappears and becomes a painter for months, and then he comes back talking about government shit. You know, it's like what the what happened? Yeah, I'm I'm smelling foul play. His wife over to shore. I I, I don't get it. No one gets married ten months after their spouse dies tragically, like. You're fucked in the head for like years. Forget about that. Means what? What do you meet her at the funeral? Yeah, I mean your mourning period, like olden days. Like, weren't they supposed to mourn? Like, wear black for like at least ten months. If he here, how about this? If he started dating ten months later, that would be a red flag. He was already married less than a year. Yeah. <laughs> nah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're all wrong, but. 
Colombo would be like, one more question, Mr. The Hall. traditional period of mourning was not nominally three years. Of course. But usually 25 to 27 lunar months in practice and even shorter in the case of necessary officers. Uh, the emperor, for example, typically remained in seclusion only 27 days. My, yeah, Tatooine got it. He was already dating her when she accidentally overdosed. Of course, we don't know anything, but that shit is weird. And I think if he wasn't a Hollywood star, the police would be all over that shit. Three years, Pat. Was it that hard? Well, clearly it was. He Talk got the direction. Uh, hold on, hold on. Smotlock says I married a year after my first divorce. Mm. Is she alive? Yeah. yeah, she's alive. All right. Well, at least give you credit. And you guys that. probably were fighting for a full year before that. If she, if you were madly in love, which he says he always says he was mad, and she suddenly died, would you be remarried in under a year? I'm just asking questions here. Allegedly. Alleged. I'm allegedly asking questions. Just trying to keep our bases covered. Kevin Ryan wants to know, will Cecil get married in his mask? Will he be snoring at the time? Yes to both of those. <laughs> Tom Hardy is British. Yeah, he's Venom. And Mad Max. And Bane. And Bane. Shh. And that guy from Inception? I never finished Inception. Really? I, I can never understand a word that guy says. I mean, I... I, I, like, I get it. Like, it's all a dream and a dream and a dream. I'm like, all right, so nothing matters. Who cares? He played, he played uh, Clone Picard, too, in Nemesis. That was good. Yeah. That's, where you, that's where you really realize how jacked up his Bob Moreau team. <laughs> but he... He played a good they, – they picked a good guy to play young, you know, uh, clone Picard. And uh, his acting chops were, like, pretty solid. I mean, I, I avoided that movie like the plague. And then finally I, I got this big collection. I was like, ah, I'll give it a shot. And I, I was like, hey, that's Tom Hardy because he would like, become Tom Hardy at that point. But uh, uh, I guess when that movie came out, nobody knew who the hell he was. Yeah, all right, let me I'm gonna share this image here. If I can get my stupid laptop to grab the tab. There we go. <laughs> I don't believe that. No, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, but he got veneers over that. Uh, I don't think so. I think he whitened them. He was great in that movie. You're where telling he, me this guy, a, a oh. major movie star, probably one in the top 10 movie stars of current year. That's his lower set of teeth? Yes. Bullshit. No. 100%. Dude, Denzel had like this fucked up thumb up until like a year ago. You ever see his like fucked up thumbs? Who? Denzel Washington. Uh uh. He had messed up thumbs? Yeah, for like years, yeah, and I never noticed him in all the movies that guy's been in. He's like one of my favorite actors, and like I've never noticed any messed up thumbs. This is why we keep chlorine and I mean a chlorine, a, uh, fluoride in our water, <laughs> even though it lowers our IQ. Yeah, it calcifies your pineal gland. Yeah, <laughs> I would have been six foot eight if it wasn't for all the fucking. Fluoride. Hey, I mean, I used to think about, man, people in the old days used to have fucked up teeth, but they didn't have sugar. So I, I bet you people in the ancient times, teeth were like perfect. Did they have sugar? When did sugar come? When was that invented? Um, <laughs> no one. I don't think anyone invented sugar. No, but it didn't come around until like the slave trade. Uh, sugar came from the Caribbean, really. Oh, no, on sugar cane? It comes from sugar cane. Right? Oh, sugar cane is grown in like Cuba and like over there. So, not all here. It wasn't until like 
the 1400s that people started getting their hands on sugar. So think about how shitty baking was. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Old, old England must, their food must have been so bland. Yeah. See this guy, I remember when I would see him like in early movies and there's certain angles where it looked like he had one tooth just kind of flying out forward. And yeah, then it does. the whole, the whole world, the whole like, you know, discovery and exploration, the shit they were fucking going after was was spices and fucking sugar and salt and pepper. Like they just wanted fucking something to flavor their food. Like the reason they were looking for Indian India was for spices. The sh reason they went to China was for fucking spices. Yeah. Like the spice trade ruled the world because everything tasted like garbage. <laughs> Like that's that's why people were were going. They were they were literally you know risking their lives for fucking Lowry's seasonal. <laughs> yeah, I buy I buy this uh, this rice from India called uh, basmati, and it's uh, it's badass rice. But there's they actually fought wars over this rice. Yeah, there's probably like hundreds of kings of England who have never tasted anything that good. You, yeah. you live better than a king. Yeah, fruit has sugar, but not for baking. I mean, I like Tom uh, Hardy's wife. She's got slightly cross eyes, but she's really cute. What's Wait, who's his wife? I can't remember her name. All right, I'll just type in wife. Whoa. Am right. I right? Hold on, give me a sec. What's that movie you played that prisoner? Uh that was like the most Bronson. Yeah, I love that movie. Freaking amazing. Like acting. Yeah? Yeah. It's a good looking chick. I like her boobs. Yeah. <laughs> John saying that from an artistic point of view. Yeah. Oh, look, she's got a little thing here. She is being modest. See, it's got material going right across here. She's yeah, not a modesty player. panel. They call that. Yeah. She's That's a player. dude. What dude? Oh, they're saying she's a dude, huh? Get the hell out of here. Look at that saying? jaw. <laughs> oh, because of the jaw. I well, I, I like that. Sorry. Yeah. It looks like, like Angelina. Yeah, Angelina Jolie jaw. Brad Pitt jaw. <laughs> what Angelina Jolie's not good looking anymore? Is that something that happened recently? No, she's got the squared jaw. It's that called is. striking. It's a handsome woman. Is she Asian? No, she's British. <laughs> that doesn't mean she's not uh Asian down her lineage. No, no, she she just has like very slightly cross eyes. It's hot. Yeah. Let me see if I can find a hotter picture of her. <laughs> I'm Handsome. doing this on another window, by the way. Cecil wants to strike her. What does that mean? Charlotte Riley is that her name? Yeah, I think that's her name, yeah. She didn't take the name Hardy? She what? Like, she didn't even take his name? Oh, really? Maybe Charlotte Hardy? Very few actresses do. Did Jenna As Jennifer Aniston become Jennifer Pitt? Yeah, Jennifer Aniston Pitt. I don't think so. You got any other pictures or, or what? I'm working on it. <laughs> All right. I was looking for a hot one, but this one looked goofy, so I'm going to show it. Because I care. That's a that weird way. picture of her. <laughs> that just wrecks everything I said. She looks like the dumb chick in class. 
<laughs> Come on. That's the that's the that's the uh the downside of having slightly cross sized is that you can have a picture like this, but she she's super cute, but this picture makes her look like the other sister. No, I think she's super cute when she's dialed up. Sexiest cross-eyed lady ever. Yeah, she she really is. She looks easy. No, she doesn't have a genetic defense. She's really pretty. I like her. It's kind of Gina Davis-ish. Can you pick yeah, a better picture than this one? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You're rushing me. You're rushing me. You're making me give out silver when I could be handing out gold. Golden Oil says for $1.99 says Cecil is into trannies confirmed. That's not true. That's a dirty lie. She's Why? I confirmed says Daytona Falls. Yeah, she's good. There she is. Look at that lazy eye. Devil's eye. <laughs> you had to you had to pick the picture like she just fell off the short bus. That's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find gold. You remember that chick that was married to uh, Tim Burton? Um, Priscilla, wait. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, gosh, Helene. Like what the hell was her name? Uh, no, 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 not Helen she, Bottom Carter. That, that yeah, that, not guy. her? No, no, no. There was this hottie he was married to when he was doing Mars Attacks. She's in that. Oh, yeah. She was the Martian that was dressed like a woman. Yeah. She, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Lisa Marie? No. I don't Lisa know. Marie. Yeah, Lisa Marie. But she's like this. She's like super hot, but there's like, like something, you know, something off. But that's anyway. why Tim Burton, he likes a little, you know, a little off. Anyway, I like Tom Hardy's wife, and I'm not afraid if anyone knows it. Even if John's going to pull up those wacky pictures of her where she looks like she was just thrown out of a car. It's not my fault. Like she was just thrown from Kevin Hart's car as it <laughs> rolled down Mulholland Canyon. Is that a triple? Where? Yeah, Helena Bottom Car was really great in uh in Fight Club. Is that her? Yeah. She yeah, she's fit. Sure. Yeah, look at the thick legs. She'd kick Kelsey's ass. I would love it. Kick away. She's got hacksaw Jim Jim Duggan eyes, which is what I look for. <laughs> Uh, cross eyes and a doink. Yeah, she's great. The cross eyes are cute when you're hot. If you're ugly, it's like a multiplier and you're in a deficit. But if you're cute, it's like it somehow works. <laughs> Cyrus Nightshade, zoom and enhance. Yeah, she's good. See, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not stupid. It's smart. I like this. Yeah, uh, does the cross size make her seem easier to like bag? Mm hmm. Yeah. You're like, oh, I probably got a chance because totally nobody got a chance. With nobody, nobody you, messed with you ain't got a chance. She's so <laughs> broken on the inside. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you got a chance. I'm not trying to talk you down or this yeah. Who's the blonde? Well, she's with Tom Hardy, so he's got some fucked up teeth. She's really still don't have a chance. How dare you? I'm holding out for Asia Argenta anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like the workout clothes. 
All right. She's all pretty boy right, all, all of these pictures. Boys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Why? All right. I'll keep it going. There you go. <laughs> John, never, John never wants to stop. He hates his wife, I think. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's brutal. Wow. Controversial statement by Kelsey. Pretty sure John hates his wife. Let's continue streaming. Well, wow. he, he won't stop. <laughs> and he's a might be a psychopath because he's got this thing about parted hair. Whoa, who's that? Right, hey, what? Wow. Yeah, that's Lisa Marie. Hey, dang. With a part right down the center, but she's blonde, so she's safe. <laughs> that that's probably not real blonde, eh? She's no probably matter. <laughs> what you fake blonde, it's okay. Yeah. Didn't she kill um, Martin Short in Mars Attacks? Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. It's real goofy. I like uh, she's also in the in the uh, the Headless Horseman movie. That right, yeah. And Planet of the Apes. Yeah, she was in Vampire and Ed Wood also. She's in a lot of Tim Burton movies. Yeah, she and Helena Bonham Carter were in Planet of the Apes. And that's when the trade-off happened. Ah. Well, I think... Uh, I think uh, Lisa Marie was like a bit of a plant to keep him happy because like he was really like depressed for a while and then friends introduced them. But like, I believe like Helena Bottom Carter is just weird enough to like, yeah, let me give this a shot. But from what I read that like she lived in like apartment across the street, like when, uh, and Burton lived in this kooky, like weird mansion, like in London. Like they had like totally separate digs. Do you know the history of that movie? Which one? Mars Attacks. Uh, I don't know. In the nineteen, 19- it was based off a trading card, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. In the nineteen sixties, Tops just did a, a series of cards with just really cool drawings of Martians attacking Earth, and they were pretty much, you know, the drawings of what the Martians look like and. Tim Burton loved that card set from the 60s and was like, I want to write a movie about it. And, yeah, and there, right. was, there was a second card set called Dinosaurs Attack, where dinosaurs are attacking people in modern day. And the oh, movie man. right up to the last minute was going to be Dinosaurs Attack, but then Jurassic Park came out. Oh, and uh, he said, everybody's going to think we're ripping that off, so let's just do Mars Attack. So it was based, yeah, just based off like a weird trading card set. And that trading card set got in a lot of trouble because it was like ultra violent. And it was being sold to kids in the 60s. Yeah, I had some of those. I mean, no doubt there are reprints, but yeah, I, I used to love those. All right. This is a great question from Phil Devereaux. Late 90s, Gina Gershon or Famke Jansen? Oh, Famke Jansen. Oh, that's tough. Oh, Famke, easy. She's she was. Like, that's an easy one for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Gina Gershon still kind of looks like you know she's got like them rat teeth. You know, like she's still kind of like she looks like Liefeld mouth. You know, like her just this giant mouth of teeth. Liefeld mouth. Rob <laughs> Liefeld. You look at Gina Gershon in the late nineties and think Rob Liefeld. Hey, she was high. Don't get me wrong. No, like, but she has like this giant mouthful of teeth, man. And like, John, can we get some comparative photos up, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it right now. Famke Jensen is like perfect, man. She's like so fantastic. No, 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 no. Uh, but I, but I, but I happen to think both of them are. It's uh, that's a tough call. Yeah, but like, uh, I don't. It's one of those things that are like uh, Famke's like that one that you could bring home to mom. Uh, but she'll still rock your world, you know. But like Gina, Gina's the kind your mom would be like, ah, you should dump that bitch, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> she, she's the crazy one. You know, Gina Gershon is almost a little too New York for me. Can I say that? How dare you? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like she's going to come with a lot of attitude. I don't have time for that. Well, let's Let take a look. It. Pull up, pull up your pictures. Boom. All right, there's Gina, late 90s. All right, who's the other one? That's from probably Showgirls. Sam Jensen. Yeah, Showgirls. I was the only one in the theater to see that. <laughs> well, there were more people there, but they left when you started masturbating. <laughs> oh, is that why they left? Yeah. 
I just thought they didn't like the movie. You and Paul Rubens were left. <laughs> uh, fan uh, Donuts won for two dollars. Says Pat Oswald and Asia Argento started dating. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Only it had a different effect. He killed his wife and stuff. All right. Like so there's Gina. There's Famke. I'm going with Gina. Well, Gina's definitely got bigger rack in that photo, but like in the in Showgirls, their rack wasn't all that big. She's got some help in that photo. I think I'm going to put that New York attitude aside and say, you're coming home with me, Gina. Hmm. It's a tough call. They're both really good looking. Uh, Nexus video says Famke's got legs. All right, let's see if we can get a better picture of her. She uh, she looked great in Rounders. Uh, she was probably forty something in that, but man, she looked great in that, dude. This one is yeah, fair. Never, but, no, she, she's go she yeah. gorgeous. Who, she's too who? hot there. That's not fair though. Uh, what do you mean not fair? Well, That's I'm gonna have to really dig to find one of Gina and Gershon. Dude, she just woke up out of bed looking like that. Gina has to like have a whole team. No, she doesn't. How dare you? <laughs> they got to put all them teeth in place, man. Hold on, I'm working on it. Oh wait, Famke Jensen was in Goldeneye too, right? Yeah, she's the chick that like killed people with her thighs, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. KSSS is Team Gina. I'm leaning Gina, but I mean, you can't really go wrong in this battle. No, no, one, no one's wrong. This is, you know, this is like that other one where it was impossible to answer. You know, Who, who's going to break your heart, though? It's going to be Gina, right? Gina oh, okay. will break your heart. Famke's a good girl. Gina's the bad one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about that and that New York attitude, I might have to go to Gina or uh, Famke. Who looks better older? Let's find out. Oh, Famka. I don't know, man. She's looking a little busted last time I saw her. Really? Yeah. The last time I saw her was in uh, that that Half horror movie man. where she was she was uh, no nah, she made you remember Eric the Red or Eric Red? He killed a bunch of people with his jeep in like Hollywood. Uh, he he did uh, he wrote uh, the Hitcher with. Uh, um, Oh man, what's that guy's name? Uh, Rucker Hauer. Rucker Hauer, yeah. So he did that with uh, Catherine Bigelow, or no, that wasn't her directing that. That was Near Dark. Anyway, Eric Red did this movie with with Famke, where she was she was under house arrest in her like apartment in New York, and there was like ghosts there, or something like that. It was pretty good. That wasn't that long ago. That was like two thousand something. Hell, 2000 to me wasn't that long ago. Oh, look. Did she have plastic surgery? Who? Famke Jenkins or Jensen. No! Yes, she did. Yes, she did. No! That's too bad because she didn't need it. Uh oh. Let's see. Some people in the chat said, yeah, she got bad, bad, uh, Oh, yep. We bet on the wrong horse. Sorry, Gina. Let me find Gina. Oh, no. What happened to you? Man, why do they do that shit? Insecure. Oh, man. I don't know. She probably looked great without it. She does. The she frozen does. face is so weird. And you'd think, like, in a photo, how can you tell if it's frozen? Because it's a snapshot, but you I could tell. Gina, <laughs> Gina Gershon looks gorgeous now. Is this yeah, I'm taking I'm taking it back to Gina Gershon. I don't care if she's gonna break my heart. She looks great. Let's see. Working on it. Oh uh, yeah, just pull just a uh, fucking Google search. Amazing. Uh, I know how to do it. All right, just checking. Andrew hurt us for two dollars, says that's depressing. Yeah. Both too old, says Nexus Video. Who's oh, not no. These women will teach you a thing or two, man. Well, Famka's all worried about her face now, so maybe not her. Gina would, though. My goodness. Let's see Gina. Gina looks like a real cougar now. Yeah, she does. 
There you go. Yeah, for sure. Fairly aged today. Ding, ding, that's, ding. We got a winner. That's 2019. Mm -hmm. 2019 Glad Awards. 2019, um, that's her? That's what it said. Right. Well, yeah, maybe she did plastic surgery and it worked. Sometimes that happens. And some women just age well, Kelsey. That's true. She's got a little She's bit of attitude. Energy. She's got that smirk. Mm -hmm. She'll wreck your life for sure. Mm -hmm. Think she slept with Jack Nicholson? Sure, why not? <laughs> I wonder how many women Jack Nicholson bagged in Hollywood. Oh, that's uh, Jennifer Tilly. Oh, oh, really? But Jennifer Tilly's in her 60s now. Dude, I actually thought that was some Asian chick there. And I was like, oh, snap. Yeah. Jennifer I Tilly. Thought it was, yeah. Uh, I, I know, I know. But I, I was thinking it was uh, Margaret Cho. Check out those knees. My goodness. Oh, no. The, Jennifer Tilly's fighting a battle. Like, she was so buxom. There's, there's got to be, gravity's got to take hold. It's not her mm -hmm. fault. It's not her fault. <laughs> She's got I a little like Courtney Cox in her, huh? What about Cox in her? Yeah, a little Courtney Cox in her. Oh. I'll take Gina Gersh Gina Gershon over Famke all day, every day. But but not to put down Famke. She's great. She, she was baby. until she got insecure. Baby head knees. <laughs> this is depressing. All right, Gina, you are the fans' pick or the yep. pros' pick. That was a come from behind win. Everybody was in Team Famke Jensen for sure. So, yeah, until that plastic surgery. Well, if there's Gina. anyone that knows from behind, it's Gina. Yeah, Tilly. Tilly's sixty-one now. She she looks, you know. That's good. She, she's a fun chick, too. She's a professional poker player now. Um, If she came on to you in a bar tomorrow. Me? Jennifer, yeah. Jennifer Turley? Yeah. Me? Of course. Yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Everyone. She came on to all three of us at the same time. Would we go threesome on that one? No, um, I'd, I'd have to kill you two. Take <laughs> I'm gay. They say I'm kind. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to go double. I'm kind of a big dude, so I'll have to take one end. You guys you go, go. You go last. <laughs> Ray Thulu said she's 60 now? Yeah, I think she's older than that. I think she's 61. Matt Lemon said it'd take all three of you to pull her legs apart. She was 37, I think, when Bound was. She kind of got hit it big late. She was in, in Bound, she was 37. So she's she's a bit older. I think uh, Gina Gershon was like 27. Man, she's holding it together. Oh, Gershon was 27? And Tilly was like 37 when that movie came out, and that was like 90, 95. That was the Wachowski's first movie. Is there any, uh, like, ugly actresses that he would bag? Like any, like... Uh, like out of desperation? Yeah, like, for instance... Because of their celebrity? No, 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 not not out of desperation, but just because you know, like, I don't know, I don't know, but like because for, they, they for, something about him you like. For instance, I like Joan Cusack, and she's like totally weird looking and like. Crazy. Wait, then or now? Well, I don't know, just Joan Cusack. All right, hold on. <laughs> it's bad, but yeah, it's always been bad. But she's hilarious. I love her. She's awesome. Yeah, but you also said you would bang what's her name, Lena Dunham. On you're disqualified. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lena Dunham's got. Uh, she wouldn't shut up, probably. 
uh, during the whole thing. So, I, you know, I don't know. She'd probably get you in prison by the time you're done, Kelsey. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably deserve it. All right, here's Joan Cusack. I'd make it worth my while if I did have to go to prison. Yeah, look at her, sweetheart. Yeah, she's a sweetie. She looks Not really into it, though. And I love John Cusack, too, her brother. They're just great. Well, yeah. you can only pick one, Kelsey. <laughs> I can have both. <laughs> Jethro Fox wants to know what your take on Rita Rudner is. <laughs> Rita Rudner? God, I don't even remember what she looks like. Uh, she was like a comedian in like the 80s or something. Rita Rudner. Rudner? Like was, she, was she the chick that was on like uh, Broadway Dancer? What was that show? The Canadian show? Second City? Oh, yeah, she's all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know her that well. I mean, she seems like she's faking it. You know, Joan Cusack, those so she's probably funny, like just naturally. She just, you know, has fun. She's probably funny. She's probably naturally funny. Well, you know, you know how like uh you know, some some comedians have to work. I oh, know that's Rita Redner. That's not who I was thinking of. Was she on SCTV? I'm thinking of somebody else. I don't know. That's who she is, though. Rita Redner. Uh also, I kind of like that uh, that other uh, comedian. That's uh, she's always. I think she's uh, lesbian, but she's uh, she's always playing tough. God, she's kind of one DeGeneres. of the. No, nah, oh, I love Ellen DeGeneres though. I got kind of Paula Poundstone. I don't know. <laughs> Is that oh. the one that had the child abuse charge? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, a lesbian comedian, uh, Rosie O'Donnell. That's who it is. She did this. She did this show. Uh, Judy Tanua, Tanuda. I don't know. She was in. Wasn't she in that show with the with the kids, all the gay kids singing song in high school? Oh, the lady from high school. Um, was it High School Musical? No, Glee. Glee, right? Yeah, Glee. Mighty oh, Wind. She was in a forty-year-old virgin. He was his the, the boss. Glee. Uh, who? She was in Forty Year Old Virgin. She worked at the store with him. Yeah, uh, you like her, Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. Lynch. Yeah, I mean, she's you know, I we're picking like. I know, think we're finding Kelsey's type here. You like Jane Lynch? Sure. Yeah, she's not bad. No, yeah, we're we're picking like uh, from uh, worst, you know the. Bottom of the barrel of Hollywood. Is that <laughs> oh, when she was a uh, young man, she was a she was a pretty good catch. She was a young man. Huh? She was a young man. No, when she was young, she was a pretty oh. good catch. Yeah, she was all right. <laughs> Why not? I am trying to find a humiliatingly old photo of her, though. By the way, There's probably plenty. Let's see who else. Um, gosh. Uh, you know, it's always easy to go for your uh, uh, who's the chick from Howard the Duck? Uh, gosh, she was in uh, Back to the Future. Oh man, forget her name. You know, what I'm uh, talking. Oh, yeah, the the uh, what the hell is her name? The mom from Back to the Future, yeah, but she was like young mom, yeah, well, she was old mom too, I guess. She played the uh, both, but she was in Howard the Duck. And I remember watching that as a kid, and she's like all in her panties and stuff. <laughs> in the 80s. Leah Thompson. Leah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that was, that's easy to kind of go with your Leah Thompsons and, you know, your uh, whoever, Leah Thompson. Uh, it's easy, you know. So, trying to get the first person to say it. Small look. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Howard the Duck, man. She's smoking hottie in that. I always remember that. Back in the 80s, you could watch that another movie where you turned around and you were the only person in the theater? No, no. That, everybody liked that movie, I remember. But in the 80s, you watch kids' movies and there's like nudity and stuff. You know, like. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, there's no reason. I mean, if anybody wonders why I'm the way I am, <laughs> it's not hard to find. Well, that's kind of the same thing in Europe, though. They show a lot of nudity in, on regular TV, right? 
Yeah, I would have killed for your like, even watch Monster Squad. Yeah, oh, yeah. they drop f bombs in there like crazy. I, it's like I'm a, not it's saying it's a movie for were. ten year olds, and the the whole concept is they have to like have a virgin, and they're like, "Did your sister ever fuck anyone?" It's like, no, <laughs> the like it's crazy. Dude, I watched the Goonies not that long ago, and like, there's this scene where they're like, they knock over this statue. And like they tried, the penis like came off of this statue. They're like trying to put it back on, and they like put it back on upside down. And it's oh, like the yeah. whole, it's this whole long scene where they're like touching this statue's penis. It's crazy. <laughs> That's got to be in one of those conspiracy things. Even even in Monster Squad, I think one of the maybe the opening line of the movie is them getting yelled at by a teacher, and he's like, "I want to see you after school." And he's like, what's he want? He's like, I don't know. He's probably just a fag or some shit like that. I was like, whoa, like opening line of the movie. Like the fucking 80s were different, man. Yeah. Was- <laughs> hey, damn. Yeah, but, it, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, gosh, what, what was that movie where the, the, the hot chick, like, pretended to be a guy in high school? Oh, just one of the guys. Yeah, yeah, and then that pro- was one of the greatest reveals of all time. Yeah, to prove that she was like a real woman, she like opened up her she had the biggest titties. It's like, like, damn, <laughs> it was hilarious. And then and that, was that a PG movie? I think so. <laughs> PG oh God. God. God bless the eighties, man. Yeah. So if anybody thinks that, like, uh, you know, we've that things were like square. Back in the day, it's like, oh no, man, things. That's my that's my new thing now. When you know, old people used to say, "Oh, you kids got it so good today, man. You guys have no idea how hard it was." Now nah, nowadays, I'm like, "You kids got it so crap today, man. It used to be so good. <laughs> you have no idea." Oh man, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. I, I haven't watched this video, but it's on YouTube, so I figure whatever's on there, we can play. What do we watch? Bob Rogers for two dollars says Kelsey is shaking. Why? I think it's a cut of all the bad shit in Monster Squad. It's cool. All right, let's watch it. I'm twitching my knee. That might be it. No, you got the shakes. That's okay. <laughs> I got a lot of nervous energy. The fate of our civilization rests upon the findings of this group, and I say it is definitely doomed. Um, it's a remix. Yeah, even the monsters were way too, like, for a kid's movie, they were like, at one point, the, the, the werewolf gets blown up and, like, reanimates, all the pieces come together. It's like, this movie made no sense. Like, it wanted to be rated R so that, bad. The Wolfman, by the way, is Uncle Rico. Dude, when Shane, right? yeah, yeah, from Napoleon Dynamite. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but like this movie wanted to be rated R, but it was about like ten year olds, so it made no sense. Yeah, they're great monster outfits in here, though, man. I love some them. of the best. It's really good. Mm-hmm. But here, I'll turn the the audio off. I'll let the display. You know, this is written by Shane Black, right? No. no. Yeah. Probably loaded on coke too at the time. Who's Shane Black? Uh, he wrote uh, the first um, Predator. Yeah, he wrote Predator. He wrote. Well, I think he just ghost wrote Predator. He, he was on. He was in the movie telling all those dirty jokes. Uh, but then he wrote uh, Lethal Weapon, which is big uh, thing. His big claim to fame. But uh, he did this movie with Val Kilmer and uh, Iron Man. Um, what's his name? Iron Man. Robert uh, Downey Jr. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer, and they're like trying to uncover a murder. It was great. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. That I never saw it. Ah, oh, it's fun. Yeah. That's probably one of his best uh, later movies. Who uh, played everybody. Frankenstein in this? Uh, Doug Tenaple. <laughs> was it the dude from Last Action Hero? Oh. Play that uh, axe murderer. Oh, Tom Noonan? Maybe. Tom Noonan's great, man. He's in all kinds of shit. Yeah. He was also in what not Red Dragon, was it? Or Manhunter, one of those. Manhunter. Manhunter. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. great in that. Yeah, Tom Newton's one of those guys. He's like a really good actor, but they keep getting him for like these weird little side characters. <laughs> that kind of looked like Tom Newton now. <laughs> All right, I'll watch Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, Val Kilmer, that's probably one of the last great Val Kilmer uh, roles, too. Yeah, this movie cannot be played on TV without being censored. If you guys, for whatever reason, haven't seen it, go watch it. This guy, Fred Decker, that directed it, too, he made uh, a lot of fun movies around this time. It's a kid's movie. It's so <laughs> unreal, like, violent. Brutal. <laughs> like, just that scene of him just Stabbing mm -hmm. the fucking bad guy through the heart. It's the eighties, man. And look at him, give him a thumbs up as he radical. <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> We're the monster yeah. squad. Oh man, you just guys, you poor, poor bastards. Fuck you, old man. Yeah. Poor bastards have no idea how good it used to be. <laughs> All right, I got to find out who the Frankenstein dude was real quick. It's Tom Noonan. Oh, it is for sure? Well, people uh, in the chat were saying, yeah. Well, those people in the chat, they like to mislead. Filthy animals. I don't trust them either, John. Yeah, Tom Noonan. That's who it is. Uh, Andrew Horta has a $2 question. Who would win, Graveyard Shift or Monster Squad? Well, we already know, Monster Squad. <laughs> well, Graveyard Shift. <laughs> no, you saw the oh. kid stick the, 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 the stake through the heart of the vampire. Yeah, but they blew up the Lilith and Mick Mayhew are pretty much Wolverine. Yeah, but these kids will open a portal and throw their asses into another dimension. Well, true. What can you do about it against a portal? Not much. Well, that girl's not a virgin anymore. It's been 40 years. 87, 97, 2000. The 70s had rated G movies with 30 years. That's true. Dude, I remember watching uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, in in the, in like a high school class, and like Juliet like rolls over and just big titties like flop over. <laughs> oh, it's hot. That was that was like rated G, man. <laughs> and meanwhile, she's supposed to be like fifteen years old. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah never mind. You know, the actress probably was, man. It was the seventies, and she didn't give a shit back then. Yeah, the seventies. Yeah, I wasn't old enough for any of that back then. I saw that in the 80s, too. Uh, Super Divorce says, Return to Oz needs a fancy Blu-ray re uh, release. I only remember watching that pretty much when it came out. And that was before that crazy chick was that crazy chick. Is that Faruka, that Faruka Balk? Yeah, Faruka something. Yeah, Balk, is that it? Yeah. yeah. She, she's another one that's like... Yeah, I dig her. Yeah. Like uh, what's the what's that one with the magic girls? Yeah, uh, she was in the craft and American History X. She was the crazy racist girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, what's her name was in that craft too? Nev Campbell. Like she played like the fatty character. Yeah. No, no, no. she had uh, she had all these scars all over. Her. Oh, like maybe she was just like... fat. <laughs> Not for no, she, she had baby fat. I said good baby fat. I was trying to tell Anna she's got that good baby fat. And she got all offended. Oh, uh, chicks. There's love no that. such thing as good baby fat. Oh, no, chicks love really being fat. called fat, Kelsey. You've you've got the winning fucking formula. It's because they got uh, society's fucking blinded them. That's good baby fat. A little a little little cushion for the pushing. Little little baby fat. That's good. Baby got back. You know. Yeah, she barely. She's barely fat. But I'm gonna throw it in here so we can laugh at her anyways. It's what I do. It's kind Who of my, are we talking? About? Kind of my job. I got a P. Nev Campbell. Why don't you share this before you go, Cecil? Or Cecil? Chelsea. 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 
Celsi. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. She looks a little chunky, but there's other shots of her where she doesn't look chunky at all. So I don't think there was much for C CGI when this came out. When that Party of Five came out, like I, I didn't watch that show, but then I saw she was in it. She was like great. And then uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt was like this skinny nerd kid in it, but she she came, she like developed uh, <laughs> into Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, but like I always liked Nev Campbell, like back in the day, she was great. Yeah, I never watched that show. It was a chick show, Kelsey. There's that well, one I chick. I didn't watch it either, but it was always on. Yeah, she's another one with like Liefeld teeth, man. She's got like a <laughs> whole muscle of teeth. She's gonna be. I have a feeling she's gonna kill somebody before her life is over. If she yeah, hasn't already, dude, she would have done it already. Yeah, I mean, if she if she hasn't. You know, yeah, because she plays crazy too good, right? Uh, yeah, you know who, uh, who else is great from that time? Uh, she went on to make those terrible Resident Evil movies. Um, uh, well, no, she wasn't good at this time, she was barely in anything. She was in like Chaplin, I think. Uh, who am I, th who am I thinking of? Resident Evil with um, Mila Jovovic, Mila Jovovic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mila, look at her, so cute. Yeah, she must have just a little bit of fat on her face. I don't know. She looks a little odd. She's got a little fat somewhere, but it, you know, mm -mm -mm. that's where it counts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what chat's up to real quick. Um, they're talking about things we're not talking about at all. Christy Swanson as Buffy. We're just having a yeah, oh yeah, she was all right. I don't I didn't like blondes at the time. You know, Paul Rubens is in that movie. Yeah, he was one of the vampires. That was his uh right after his career was ruined as Pee Wee Herman. Like it was <laughs> right at that same time that Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie came out. And it's I was amazing. like, I was like, whoa, Pee Wee's saving his career by playing this like totally crazy, yeah. long-haired vampire. But it's it it didn't help. It's amazing that movie spawned that like whole shot, that whole TV sh series and spinoffs, and that movie's not great. <laughs> mm. Raven oh. Z Black with a good uh, proposition here: Phoebe Cates or Jennifer Connelly? Oh, dude. Uh, Jennifer Connelly, easy, but Phoebe Cates. Oh man, gosh, damn it, that's a hard one, man. Phoebe Cates, and oh mercy, ah uh, Jennifer Connelly. I'm going. Is that the other one, or am I just thinking of Jennifer? Yeah, Connelly? yeah, Jennifer Connelly. You know, I'm going Jennifer Connelly too because I'm looking at pictures of Phoebe Cates, and yeah, she had that kind of cute window. Yeah, but well, now she, was, she just kind of looks like an old kind of. I don't know. Well, you know, there's like the difference between like Phoebe Cates is the girl next door that you like try to get in her pants, but it just never works. And like, you know, Jennifer Connelly is the one you try to get in her pants and it works. I mean, you could just kind of tell this about certain women. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't have Phoebe Cates end up marrying some rich dude? Yeah. Wasn't that like her thing? Why she uh, bowed out? She's like, well, I got she, that money. She did some movie where they like, Brought her out to the some Arab desert and got her naked on the beach and stuff and like <laughs> apparently she didn't like that. Uh, she did it, you know, but she did. Uh, she was also in Gremlins, I think. The two yeah, Gremlins. she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's cute. But Gremlins one one and two or just no? I think one and two. Yeah, one and two. Yeah, look, she's cute, but Jennifer Connelly's stunning. I mean. She's, I mean, she's always been stunning. I think she's turned into a fine, or as Cecil says, a handsome older woman. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me be the judge of that. She was just in this movie. Oh, she was in Alita. I didn't like her in that movie, though. No, she looked terrible. Yeah. Well, they had her too buttoned up, man. She's... She looked better in this movie with the uh, firefighters trying to 
which was a terrible movie. Like, I'm watching this movie and I'm like, oh man, they're going to get out of this. No, they all fucking die, man. It was horrible. <laughs> Spoiler. Yeah, don't watch it. It's fucking. I mean, it's a true story, I guess. But what's Jennifer a true Connelly, story? She's looking a lot like Mike's wife, isn't she? What glass? Where the fuck are my glasses? Did she have a boob, boob reduction? Yeah, she did. Who's went... that? Jennifer Nobody? Conley. Who? Jennifer Conley. Oh man, I need my glasses. Hold on. Shit. He's looking at he's looking at her, thinking that's Jennifer Conley's. <laughs> She looks different. Yeah, Jennifer. Uh, yeah, look at her. That's not a great picture either. She looks like she's like, please leave me alone, but I'm going to smile for this camera. Yeah, you need to look up, look her up in like only the brave. Wait, she what looks- the hell is going on over here? She's not trimming or what? Jennifer what? Connelly looks great. What's wrong Look with that? Her? Look at this down here. She's not trimming. No, that's a child. Oh. Isn't she married to Vision? Oh, is she? I think so. Am Doesn't that look like uh, Mike's wife or what we think Mike's wife looks like? Paul Bettany. Is Paul Bettany Vision? I think so, right? I think, I think that's so. who she's married to, yeah. I don't know hmm. if I like Paul Bettany. I kind of go back and forth with the guy. I don't. I'm completely indifferent. I could care less. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Yeah, maybe it's indifference. He was great in like Master and Commander, and then he's been kind of farting around ever since. Yeah, she's married to Vision. Okay. <laughs> to Vision, this is. <laughs> I uh, didn't like the character, man. That was a weird man seeing seeing Vision. <laughs> like he has gone too far. Who was uh, who is Kirsten Dunst married to then? Uh, I don't know, Kirsten Kirsten Dunst. I'm looking. All partner. these girls. She has a partner, not a husband. Oh, dude, she's married to the fucking dude from Black Mirror and uh, Breaking Bad. Remember the Black Mirror episode? The guy who kind of looks like retarded Matt Damon? <laughs> oh, Holy shit. Dude, the dude from Breaking Bad, the one's always fucking up in that show? No, 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 no. Um, in Black Mirror, he was the Captain Kirk guy. Oh, that doofus looking dude? Yes. Well, Hold I mean, he's cool. he's cool, but he looks like a mongoloid. <laughs> he's not he's very actually, cool. Yeah, he looks. A, he doesn't look good. Who? Well, he's, he's a good actor, though. Uh, yeah, I guess his mouth moves. Yeah, good actor. <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, that's Kirsten Dunst's uh, husband. The, her, her partner. He looks like Matt David got stoned by a thousand. Yeah, people. he's if if, if uh, Matt yeah, Jesse Plemons, that's his name. If Matt Damon and Philip Seymour Hoffman had he was in Breaking Bad, he was the evil dude. And yeah, when I thought he was a real dude, I was like, they pulled this guy out of the fucking desert, man. (laughs) He was in that uh show, the football show, Friday Night Lights. Oh, I never watched that. Yeah, we don't watch. He's a good actor. Yeah, his mouth moves. What does it take to be a good actor to you guys? What's his defining? Role this guy's ever done. The, 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 uh, breaking, line. breaking Bad for sure. He was fucking awesome in Breaking Bad. All he did was deliver lines. He wasn't like playing a hunchback or anything, guys. Oh, man, acting, acting's bigger than that. No, but, ah, but he can speak. Dime a dozen guys that can talk out lines. <laughs> you would think just so. Like, just like all you guys with your Joaquin Phoenix love. Oh, he's a fantabulous actor. Oh, he's so good. No, he's not. He, you guys liked him in freaking that one Gladiator movie because he stuck out his tongue and he gave a little thumbs down. So Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah. He's a fucking great actor, you dope. Yeah, his mouth moves and you guys are impressed by it. <laughs> All right, so who's a good actor then? Daniel Day-Lewis. His mouth moves and you're... <laughs> Shit. 
Bill the Butcher, Lincoln, um, Bill the Black. There will be blood. I mean, this guy falls into characters, man. Yeah, but you're like, you know, you're going to my the, left foot. I mean, he's like widely considered the top actor. I mean, well, so that's, that's the, acting, guys. You got to get in that. You got to get in that range. <laughs> Shit. What the fucking best there is? You well, know? this guy, you know, he shows up on set. His mouth moves good. Hey, I'm gonna be a writer. Let me I never it. said that this fucking Matt Damon, you know, retarded brother was the greatest actor of all time. I just said he was good. Yeah, good Matt enough to uh, yeah get out of uh, get out of the school plays and on the television. Know, yeah. Like, there's no gray with John. You're it's either like all or nothing. <laughs> Star Trek, Star Trek questions. I'm gonna give you the hardest fucking Star Trek questions ever created. You no, know? I, I'm up front. I'm not that smart. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, acting, fuck actors, unless you're the best actor there is. Well, no, I just when people are like, oh yeah, he's a really good actor. I, I'm looking for someone that's like disappears into roles. Who's a good director? Is it Stanley Kubrick, and that's it, or like what? <laughs> well, I, I like Kubrick. I, I think he gets really good shots. Like Spielberg, Spielberg. who's your? Yeah, probably Spielberg's probably my go-to director. Yeah. No John McTiernan. No. Uh, I don't need any of your artsy fartsy crap. Did they make a billion dollars? Fucking John McTiernan did Die Hard. You dope. So what? <laughs> did, he, did he film a guy in, in an air <laughs> shaft? Hey, Daniel Day Lewis didn't do Predator, motherfucker. Who so said Predator? Kill Daniel Day Lewis in two seconds. Yeah, he could eat a dick with his left foot and his fucking mouth. <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis, my ass. He ain't no Schwarzenegger. He ain't yeah. no the Predator would pull off fucking Daniel Day Lewis's left leg and then feed him his left foot. Yeah, I prefer, <laughs> I prefer movie stars to actors. Give me some, give me some personality, and you know, disappear into a role. Oh, how hard is it to just stare in the, in the fucking blank space? Yeah, how much does Daniel Day Lewis bench? Think about how much his left foot hurts. Mm -hmm. Well, Look, if, he, if he took on a role where he was a weightlifter, right. he would probably bench a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's not acting. That's just being. He's like, no, oh, I'm gonna that is him committing to his roles. That's that's I can't act, so I got to know everything I know about it, so I can actually Could be you that. Imagine person. Daniel Day Lewis's scrawny arm meeting up with Carl Weathers. Call whether it would just be like rip his arm out of his socket. <laughs> you call that acting, John. <laughs> what? Carl Weathers is the man. He got a he got a performance. I like real actors. <laughs> no, Carl Weathers is is hard to see Steven because I, I always I always see him as the guy from Arrested Development. Now, Steven oh. Seagal, Carl Weathers, Jean Claude Van Damme, Schwarzenegger, real fucking actors. <laughs> yeah, no, they always play themselves. I love them for it, but they they always play themselves. Who? He puts on a fancy accent, and your your panties fall down. Oh, then the day. Yeah, he sounds just He's like right. Lincoln. How He's do you right. know Lincoln sounded like? Maybe Lincoln had a a, a voice, you know, a different voice. Uh, I think they had a. I think they had a small clip of a, some kind of early. Was it some kind of early audio or something like that? There's no fucking. Or no, no, no. Maybe they went off a description. I remember hearing something when that movie came out where they were talking about how he talked at like a a higher pitch. I'll tell you who could speak at a high pitch: Daniel Day Lewis, because he's a girl. Schwarzenegger <laughs> couldn't do that shit. Oh fucking man. Oh, Joaquin Phoenix. Wait. Oh, he's going to get an Oscar. You look, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, Joker is going to be a Trojan horse for shit SJW crap, and uh, you're all suckers for it. No. By the way, you guys go watch it. Bob, Bob the Bug with one eye asking says, check out Mathilda May from Life Force. Do not. She, she didn't wear a stitch of clothes the entire movie. Uh, Jamin Max says there is audio. There's no fucking Lincoln audio. I'm gonna look it up right now. 
Don't look up Mathilda May because seriously, that movie, that's a Toby Hooper movie. The guy who did uh, Chainsaw Massacre. Great movie. I love that movie. But the main character is a woman who's buck naked the entire movie. Are you talking about Life Force? Yeah. I love that movie. You can't even look up a clip of it because she's naked in every scene. Oh, with the space vampires? Yeah. Yeah, I freaked me out when I was a kid. She's like an Italian like model or something. Mathilda May. So gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's actually a really good movie. Uh I think it's I think it's better now than when it came out. Patrick Stewart is in it. Yeah. And I'm trying Patrick, to see in that? Who? No. Patrick McGowan. No, he's not in that. Patrick McGowan? Yeah, he was the prisoner. You never you don't know Patrick McGowan? No. Or McGowan. Hand? It's probably Magoo Hand. M my goo hand? <laughs> yeah. Uh, quick answer on the audio it says none exists because the uh, he died 12 years before the phonograph. Yeah. Patrick Magoo Hand? No, Lincoln. Yes, Matt Becker. It's Mr. Magoo. Thank you. Finally, somebody who has some classic education is in our chat. Mr. McGoohan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where were we? Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> oh my God. Did she fucking marry him? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure he could play a woman. He'd get a sex change for the role. No, I like I like that in, in John, you know, he goes for the we're gonna to go to the top. Yeah. No, no messing around. Want director? Want Spielberg? Yeah, right. Who's the best director? Spielberg. Who's the best actor? Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Who's the prettiest girl in the world? Marilyn Monroe. No, <laughs> not Marilyn Monroe. I don't know. I'd have to think that one out. Who is? You know who's a better most actor? Most people on this planet, who is the hottest chick in the world? Uh, uh, I, don't think that, I don't think that chick exists yet. The hottest chick in the world? The hottest yeah. chick in the world works at a bookstore in some small town in Midwest, wherever. No, she no that's not Nobody true. knows who she is. Uh, Karen Peter Mayer says Pamela Anderson, or Anderson is what he's saying. Oh, not Almala the, Henderson. Not the most gorgeous girl in the world. Johnny Incel says B. Arthur. <laughs> B. Arthur. Christina Hendricks, Michael Pernesti. I think that's uh, right. Pretty close. No. Oh, not, not by far. She's oh, awesome. who's that, yeah, who's that uh, chick on Modern Family? The, uh, the Latina chick? Yeah, yeah. she... She's pretty good. Well, it ain't the blonde. I'm talking about, yeah. Right? That chick from Chef. Did you see that movie? With Favreau? What about like a young, uh, what's her Sophia name? Sophia Vergara. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Victor's what about a young, um, right, she was in uh, 10,000 BC. I'll take a young anything. What's her name? Uh, famous, Raquel Welsh. Oh. I might go with a young Raquel Welsh. She was in this, I think she was in this Western with. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Their, their titties were hanging out everywhere. It was yeah, she was like a hooker or something. They have like this, this, this girl fight at the end. Yeah, young Raquel or. or uh, Lauren. Yeah, she might be. Yeah, she was in that fur bikini. Pull that up. Fur bikini Raquel Welsh. I'll get right on that. Give me one sec. Try and give you guys gold here. It was uh, an Italian Western, I think. You guys got to see this if you haven't seen it. Who's that? Sophia Vergara. Uh, no, it's not. Before Modern Family. Yeah, that's her before. Oh, she she was, right. Oh, she's no. right. She's in her 50s now. Yeah, this must have been her. Yeah, she's. that's pretty great. Yeah, okay. Raquel Welch. What one? Fur bikini. Fur <laughs> bikini. Oh, the uh, Shawshank Redemption poster. Uh, Matthew Lemon says the last two Cecil streams have been looking up hot tricks. 
Yeah, and we've never gone under 400 viewers. <laughs> hey, we know what the people want. Honestly, I'm bored until we get to this part. I could do this all day. Everybody wants more Daniel Day Lewis pictures and Jer Jesse Blemons or whatever the fuck his name is. Hey, did you see the Phantom String? Yes, that you're such a fan of uh, Day Lewis. Um, no. Phantom Thread, the Phantom Thread. No, I've also never seen Last of the Mohicans. What? Yeah, it's a great one. Oh man, I love that fur bikini. Yeah, uh, Raquel Welch might be top. Now she's still alive, right? Sure, but she's in her eighties. Yeah, the, how's she looking though? Well, look for before you jump to the eighties. Can we see a little more sixties and seventies, Raquel Welch, before you destroy us? Okay. All right. Uh, well, I just typed in for you. Always have to go to like, what does a skeletal thing look like now, and just wreck everybody's good time. <laughs> See, these are all pictures of her in the fur bikini, though. Keep going. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. Claudia Cardinal. Oh. Each one, she's surprised. Yeah, she's surprised. She's she's a cave woman, and there's dinosaurs. Look at that acting. <laughs> That's some Daniel Day Lewis acting right there. <laughs> really there's a cool. there's a claymation dinosaur right there. Just getting right into the role. Ron <laughs> Craig was great too, Matthew Fowler. That was Batgirl in the uh, '60s oh. Batman. That is not. No, that's just some chick wearing a replica bikini. How about Bridget Bardot? Sure, Bardot or uh, Anne Margaret was great too. Hey, what? what's going on? What's going on in there? There's dinosaurs, John. You have to understand this is 10,000 years BC. No, I'm saying right here. It almost looks like, it almost, almost looks like, all right. Onward. John, we're trying to run a classy show here. Onward. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna that. Yeah, I want to show you guys some that is badass there. That's uh Kelsey Shannon drawing. Yeah. What he said. Look, the perspective is right, the upskirt is dead on, the under boob. We can see it. <laughs> Loving it. You can see it. All right, here, check this out. Oh, of course she's got a mirror. Of course. Yeah, Dan Day-Lewis wouldn't have a mirror. He'd be in character all the time. Why does she have a mirror in 10,000 BC? Because it's probably when she's not being filmed. <laughs> but Daniel Day-Lewis is in character the entire time. You think they polished like a rock? So they yeah, he wouldn't desecrate his art like that. Like this. Could Dan I bet Daniel Day Lewis's hair would look like shit ten thousand years before Christ. Look at her hair. It's like Pantene fresh. Yeah. All right. Well, That's acting, John. <laughs> I know. Uh, That's her being surprised. Uh, oh, look at this little butt cheek there, little butt cheek. I like it. I'll go with Raquel Welsh. I don't think I can go wrong with that call. All right. Now we're going to see how she looks in 2019. Well, how old is she now? Uh, I will find out. Raquel Welch. Um, She's five foot six, American. She's worth $30 million. She's 78 years old. And, uh, People like Nova from uh, Planet Apes because she's hot and doesn't talk. Hmm. I'm going to have to agree with that one. I'm going to have to write in 2019 because I, I don't know when these are. All right. Now she's a little done up here. One sec. Here we go. 
Oh, wow. She looks like Gina Gershon. Yeah. <laughs> Gina Gershon's mom. Those eyes. So that's how Gina Gershon's going to look in another 20 years, right? Those eyes look reconstructed. <laughs> oh, that's not too flattering there. Eh. Well, what I ran, 78, she's holding it together. Good for her. Hell yeah. I'm going to stick with her. Oh, uh, 2018. Here we go. That's close enough. Nice. Digging she, it. she wasn't the girl in the first... Who was the girl in the first Bond movie that came out of the water in the yellow bikini? And was that her? Uh, something Eklund. Oh. She was great, yeah. She looks like that in the 60s picture right there. That's why I was thinking it might be her. Oh. Yeah, Mortal V says she still looks better than a lot of women. Yeah. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. If you were married to that for 60 years, you wouldn't regret it, right? She's no Daniel Day Lewis. I'll give you that, John. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a great investment. Britt Eklund, yeah, that was the chick from the uh or was it Ursula Andress? Is that the one you're thinking of? Ursula Andress was the chick coming out of the water in Bond. I thought it was uh Eklund. Sophia Loren is a great choice too. Oh yeah, for old old chips. No, but I'm saying like no for when she was hot. Who are you looking at here now? This is uh, uh, Ursula Andress. Yeah, she's all right. Yeah, she's the Bond girl. She's no. Right? She's no. the Bond girl. Yeah. yeah. She's already, it in color, John. Yeah, she's already falling apart. She's already. She, this chick is falling apart in this picture, as far as you're concerned. She's a wreck. <laughs> nah, she's fine. Where's her boobs? What's going on here? She's built like a truck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tough crowd. I like her face. Oh, that's a really good drop shadow. Under okay, face. yeah, coffee under. I, I figured it out. Look at the chat. It's not Britt Eklund. It's Ursula Andres. We got, we got it. Camel toe there too, by the way. Just want to point that out. Thank you. Somebody had to. It was right there, staring at us the whole time. Elephant in the room. Britt Eklund was in a later Bond film. All right, let's. Can we see this in color? She, she was in color in this movie. Ursula Andress color. No love for the ladies of Hammer Horror. I'll give love for that. I bunch of English beds running around half dressed with vampire teeth in. I'm fine with that. There you are. Color. John says this chick is falling apart. <laughs> God help her. I'm embarrassed for her. <laughs> Meteor Matter says, Google the hottest trannies. I, I'm sure. You know, let's do that. Uh, no, I don't want that in my search history. <laughs> oh, yeah. Adrian Barbeau. Yeah. Thumbs up for her. Sure. Also, uh, special mention to um, what's her name? She was the snake dancer in Dust Till Dawn. Oh, Selma Hayek? Yeah, she had a couple years where she ruled the world. Yeah, well, she probably would still rule the world, but she did that movie Frida and it grossed everyone out. Yeah, but then uh, what's her name? Do Monster and it grossed everybody out? But No, you have to, you have to own it, man. And there, no. it is impossible to own a unibrow on a woman. No, please take a, what's her name? 
Oh, why am I missing this? The, the blonde chick from Fury Road. Why am I blanking on her name? Beautiful actress. Charlize. Charlize Theron. She put on like 80 pounds. Could look that up. Charlize Theron monster. All right. One sec, because I just pulled up uh, Salma Hayek. Never go full unibrow. Okay. This is so this is Selma Hayek at her worst with a unibrow. Now look at Charlie Theron and Monster. Mm -hmm. And you tell me, please. Not even close. Yeah, but Selma Hayek shows her tits in uh, that movie. Which movie? That makes up for a unibrow. Frida. Oh, really? No, it doesn't make up for it because no one saw her tits in the trailers. All they saw was one big fat unibrow and a hot chick, and that destroyed her. Can't judge a book by its cover. You got to watch the yeah, whole Yeah, explain that to a million people. I'm sure it's on YouTube. All right, this is Charlie Theron and Monster. Please, not even close. Jesus. What? No unibrow. Hey, look at those eyebrows. Those are like mine. <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's – you're – it's now added, now you got to look at her full body in this. She was huge. Adding to the proof that you're a psycho, John. <laughs> she was huge. Now look at, type in this, uh, Shirley's there on Two Days in the Valley. Type that. All right. Oh, oh, yeah, she was great in that. That sounds she like was, a Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, I actually drew a picture of her in that white lingerie she's in. When she fights Terry Hatcher in that movie? Wow. Isn't she in like white lingerie in this in this one? I think she's in a white skin suit, tight like cat suit. Yeah, and she's fighting Terry Hatcher. Oh my god, that's one of the greatest scenes. Yeah, Terry Hatcher used to be another one from the what was the nineties. Yeah, Charlie Theron is raising her kids trans. Really. Oh, you know, I think I have heard something about that. That's terrible. She, she's she's so Brad Pitt and uh, Jolie. So a lot of oh man, look at that shit. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't clear up. The fight scene between her and uh, Terry Hatcher was fucking great. That's a oh, great. She's another South African cunt, though. It's a slow build that movie, but it's great. It's worth it. Alfred Molina's ass says, "Why? <laughs> I don't know." <laughs> oh look, uh, what's his name? James Spader. James Spader, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sex Lies and videotapes. No, oh, she's looking good there. Yeah, she was also in that uh, that movie where uh, Keanu, Keanu Reeves plays a lawyer. And like, oh yeah, uh, I love that movie. Yep. Um, Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what's going on here? She's getting choked to death. That's the fight scene with her and Terry. Man. Is that a stunt double? <laughs> no, that's just a, a clip of a fight scene. So her face is like, no, that's a man. <laughs> that's a man, baby. No, nah, you know who you know who took over for her is the chick from Wolf of Wall Street, um, Margot Robbie. Oh my God, she's amazing, Margot Robbie. She's she's a great actress. So Charlie crazy. Theron was bitching, saying, "How come no one asked me out?" She's crazy. Yeah, because as soon as you ask her out, man, I, I bet everybody knows she's like uh, legitimately. Like, why do you think like Halle Berry can't keep a husband? It's like, oh, this is one of the best looking women in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? People are like, they ain't worth it. Yeah. Someone asked me out. By the way, um, my kids are going trans. How about uh, Naomi Watts? She dated Sean Penn. So? He's like a grandpa to her. Well, then lucky him. Oh, Naomi Walt Watts. Who's that? Who dated Sean Penn? Uh, what's her name? Charlie's throwing out. Thr no, they're pretty close in age. She's like 50. <sighs> and then John just threw up in his mouth a little. <laughs> Sean I'm pretty Penn sure she's like Sean 50. Sean Penn is 59. And how old is Charlie's Theron? Um, I bet she's close to 50. Close. 
Hey, she's 44. Still she's only 44? She's 44, Cecil. She looks worse. <laughs> 15 years is not that bad for Hollywood. She's older than I am. Old hag. <laughs> <laughs> She's 74, says. <laughs> All right, not Naomi Watts. Someone is asking for her. Right, hold on. Naomi Watts. Is this a model? No, oh, Naomi Watts. She was in Mulholland Drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody watched that. What, she uh, was what in else? King Kong. Oh, yeah, she's King married Kong. to uh, Lee Schreiber. Oh, she was. Yeah, Leif Schreiber, he's cool. And right? their kid is trans also. Are you serious? <laughs> no, for real, yeah. What? No, for real. Leif Schreiber and Naomi Watts' kid is Look, trans also. It's not cool to be in Hollywood and not have a trans kid. Dude, those people are smoking. Oh, stuff. this chick. I, I, where do I know her from? Um, from stuff. She, she was in that movie about the flood. King uh, Kong. King Kong. Oh, yeah, King Kong. Uh, She's been a lot of shit. Oh, she was in this movie uh, called uh, Funny Games, which is so wicked, man. Yeah, that was wow, with what's his name? Not that hot. What's yeah. his name? Not Gary Ullman. Uh, oh, the other Hedvig. actor. Call him Hedvig. Because uh, he, he played uh, Hedvig in The Angry Inch. What was that guy's name? Uh, he was the guy in... Um, oh, she was in Twin Peaks. She played, I think, uh, was that Cooper's wife? I don't know. Twin Peaks. Yeah, Jane. Okay, uh, Jethro Fox has another question. Linda Linda Harrison versus Raquel Welsh, please. Oh, Naomi Watts, she was in uh, The Ring. You might have seen her in that. Yeah, she was in The Ring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going through IMDb right now. Not very impressed. So what what was the question, Cecil? Was uh... Linda Harrison versus Raquel Welsh. Linda Harrison. Who's who's that? Uh, John Wayne gave uh, you go for thirty dollars from UYU. I have no idea what that is. Linda Harrison. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Wow. Is that George Harrison's wife? I don't know, but she's seventy-four years old. Probably then, yeah. Always the extremes with the. She was Miss Berlin at 16. Uh, you go for $30 from a country called UYU. Says John Wayne Gacy used to paint Albert Fish. Show us. Oh, she was uh, Nova in uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh. That's who Linda Harrison is. John Wayne Gacy painted Albert Fish? Look, look it up. And Ray, Ray Thulhu says, Alice Eve, please. But first we need to see that fish painting. <laughs> John Wayne Gacy. Well, it looks like it might be true. I mean, it could be a forgery. I'm not an art expert, and I haven't heard this before. Here we go. Huh. Ooh, what about Carolyn Monroe? Good likeness. Uh, he's got one eye lower than the other eye. That's where he kind of screwed up. Did they execute John Wayne and Gacy? They did. Oh, so me criticizing this isn't going to help or hurt. Uh, one eyebrow is way up here. The other one is questionably way down here. A lot of symmetry problems. There's like a goiter going on here. A lot of people believe in me, like Peter Mayer. He's got a Hitler haircut. It's making me feel ill. Yeah, keep it up in hell, John Wayne Gacy. You'll get there. Uh, look up Alice Eve. Ray Thulu for $2 said, please look up it's Alice a 
it's an art contest between John Wayne Gacy in hell and Dan Panosian on Earth. Who's going to win? I don't know. We'll find out. Look up who? Alice Eve. Ah, uh, dude, she's what? Are we just going to look up every generic actress? What do you think of uh, Alexandra? Super chat. Alexandra Daddario. Uh -oh. All right, as long as it's super chat. I, I want to wrap this up after Alice Eve. Yeah, I'm gonna make you guys suffer on this one too. Alice Eve. I don't know. I never heard of her. She was in Star Trek. Oh yeah. She was great in that Star Trek. She took her shirt off in front of Kirk on that thing. Yeah. And everybody was like, ooh, because she was like pointing at something, and then they're like, is that a clue? It's not all that. She's cute. She's got Daisy Ridley mouth. <laughs> yeah, she's got chiclet teeth. She's got Liefeld teeth. Oh. Everything comes back to Liefeld with you. Liefeld teeth. Oh, well. And that's pretty much a middle part in her head right there, but she's blonde. She looks like Elizabeth Shue, but like less interesting. Uh, yeah, she didn't uh, age too well. And, well, she aged okay, I guess. She's in uh, The Boys, right? Yeah, she's, she's momly. Yeah, a lot of wrinkles in her armpit area. Oh, in her armpit area? I don't know, man. It's and something about the way she was sitting next to Homelander on my 70-inch TV. I was just like, ugh. Ah! HD wasn't forgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred Ortiz, uh, <laughs> she's got dreamy life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, comic Book Journey says, I would do Alice Eve that, rather than Daisy Ridley. I don't know, a bit of a toss-up. That's a toss-up. I might go with Daisy Ridley. I like... Uh, Burnett's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shinto ketchup. Does she have Malin feet? Uh, like my actual feet? Uh, okay. They look fat. Um, yeah. Or like Rob Liefeld feet where they're kind of wedges. With some cankles. Hmm. I don't have cankles. What are you talking about? I like wedges. You got those from Mignola. Them wedges. Yeah. Him, Silvestri, whatever. Well, so you probably Silvestri got it from Neil and then Liefeld got it from Silvestri. What do you think? Eh. Eh. Yeah, Jesus, you guys are gay as fuck. I'd have to go into like grandpa art to. Because we're talking about Liefeld? Is that what we're gay as fuck? Where'd Mignola get it from? Uh, Mignola. He got it from. What about Simonson? He's trying to ape. Uh, I don't know if Mignola was a Simonson fan. He was like all about Frazetta. Mm. But I don't think Frazetta drew wedge feet. Oh, wow. Static Void is really dedicated to telling us we're gay. <laughs> or Cecil is. <laughs> oh, weird. We could talk Liefeld feet all day, man. <laughs> yeah. How would, how would we even be considered gay with. Uh... With all our hot chick talk, listen to compensating. Maybe we need to over. May we overcompensate with too many hot chicks? Now we need to get some dudes in here. Yellow flash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that might be the official end. <laughs> yeah, we showed too much poon tonight. That's it. Julie Strain is dying. I don't want to know about that. Let's end it on a happy note. Daisy Ridley has four inch nipples. Hmm. Do we have photographic evidence of this? I don't want to see that. <laughs> like a straw? Like folded, folded <laughs> inwards. Hmm. Excellent. Everyone go back graveyard shift. It will not be back band. graveyard shift and and uh Look for Kelsey's upcoming Blake Northcutt project. The dream yeah. of Daisy Ridley's four inch nipples. 13 days left on Graveyard Shift, and then it's gone. We won't go into man. Yeah, that's true. Daisy Ridley did do a nude scene, but she was, uh, yeah, she was dead in a, in a morgue. <laughs> now, Mark Trafford said ending the stream is gay. 
Sick. <laughs> All right, we'll be gay for a day. I guess. All right, on this note, Static Void, you end it. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Static <laughs> Void. That was pretty gay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Twenty-five dollars super chat. Hold, hold on. <laughs> Eddie Winkler. Wow, right at the fucking buzzer. I was just about to click end broadcast. Uh, hey, guys, I love the show. I just plugged Graveyard Shift, which I have backed Thank on you. a Twitter account I recently made on, for my comic company. Can I ask you to plug the account to you? I apologize if this isn't the right place. No, I will plug your – yeah, let's do it. Eddie for Winkler. 25 bucks, we'll, we'll plug anything you want. Can you look up Eddie Winkler's company? Plug any hole you want. Anything Tom you want. King for $2 says you guys are the best. That's our price. Uh, Eddie Winkler, what's the name of the company? Uh, I'll go to his YouTube for whatever that's worth. He has one sub. So everyone go over there and sub. Put it in the chat. <laughs> See, so it's not my first rodeo. Henry Winkler. Everybody check out Eddie Winkler oh. and his comic book company, which is called, I don't know. Um, Sprint Spirits Car said John has gay search engine skills. <laughs> uh, he has four followers. Everybody follow him right now. Uh, Static Void said this fog. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, is wearing a mask. Ha 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 ha. I always wear a mask. <laughs> Elsie never wears a mask. What are you talking yeah. about? People. Did you put it in the link? Everybody else. Eddie Winkler has it at twitter.com. Dose true. D-O-S-E true. Everyone go check him out on Twitter. And sub to his YouTube channel. Please. I'm about to follow him on Twitter. Wear a hair mask. I put it in the Twitter just now. Hmm. Dose true going there right now. Yeah. Hugo asked John, what were you doing during 9-11? Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, I was out building a bridge and we were by an airport. And I remember that uh, it was quiet. Following. It's called Dose of Action is the name of the company. And I also remember that I, I thought it was all over exaggerated. So we just kept working, and uh, when we got back to uh, my apartment that I was staying at, and then I saw it, I was like, oh, fuck. And I just retweeted one of his tweets. How did that go? Joe uh, K said, John looks like Tim Pool. No, guys, just because I'm wearing a beanie. <laughs> I don't Follow know. Maybe sometimes I wear a hat. Eddie Winkler. Did you find his uh his YouTube? 84 years ago. Cecil. Uh, he has 19 followers now. How many did he have before? Uh one. Well, hold on. I'm on Twitter. Oh, how many subs? Oh, now he has 13 subs. Thanks, guys, for subbing to Eddie Winkler. Where is the link? I don't see it. Eddie, be sure to put the uh, get more videos up on there and keep your audience entertained. And last video you put up there was seven years ago. It's been eighty four years. I just subbed. Yeah, if you in the first step to doing all this crowdfund stuff is getting your YouTube channel active, like severely active, and broadcasting all the time. If you really, really, really want to succeed, you got to turn into a full-time job. All right. On that note. Yeah, I'm, passing. I'm passing out. Yeah, we don't want we don't want the snore stream. No. Uh, uh, yeah. I didn't believe that actually was true until I went I just went to it and I was really fucking snoring. I can't believe that. Yeah, if anyone wants to check that out, go to my YouTube channel. Um, it was the art critic video that I just did. It was a live stream. Just go to like the last couple of minutes and you can hear 
Cecil after he passed out and he's snoring. Eddie Winkler with another ten dollars at the buzzer. I have no videos, so I don't know who you're seeing. No, you do have some videos. You have Ed and Jim at work, Blood Angels versus da Dark Elder. <laughs> You just put them up eight years ago, so you don't remember, but they're up there. All right. On that note, thank you, Eddie Winkler. Much appreciated. Following you on Twitter, following you on YouTube. Um, uh, where's the Jack show at next? Is that Anna's? I might be, it's either you or Anna. All right. We'll figure it out. All Thursday right, guys. nights at 10 or 11-ish, guys, our Jack shows every Thursday. Yes. All right, everybody. Good night. Good night. Donut Earth is real. Donuts. Finally, I could take my mask.